In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your C or C++ code right within your Visual Studio code. All you have to do is click this run button and you will get the output right within your code editor. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So the first step is go to your web browser and search for MinGW. Here if you click on the first link, you will be taken to this website, project slash MinGW. But that's not what we are looking for. So scroll down till you see the second link, click on it. And now you should see something like MinGW-W64. This is the correct link. Now here we are not going to directly download the file. We will go to the file section, scroll down. And we are going to choose this one click on it and you'll be taken to this page where it says the download will begin shortly so we have to wait for five seconds after that the download will begin i have already downloaded the file so i'm not going to download again so i'm just going to cancel it after the download is done you can go ahead and open the file location and then right click on the file click on extract all now here we will choose the location where we want to extract so i'm going to choose c drive make sure that you also select c drive it looks like this and click on extract. Now the extraction will begin. I'm just going to close all the windows till then. After the file is done extracting, you will be taken straight to the folder where you extracted it and you can see a mingw64 folder was created. So open it up, go to the bin folder and now click on this bar right here. Press Ctrl plus C to copy the link. Now go to the start button and search for environ. Click on the edit system environment variables, click on environment variables, double click on path. And here you can see I have already added the entry for MinGW. So I'm just going to click on new and paste in the new MinGW entry. But I'm just going to delete one of the entries because I don't want the duplicate entries and click on OK, OK and close this one as well. Then I'm going to go to my Visual Studio code, go to the extensions tab, search for code runner. And I'll choose the first one, which is by Yunhan. So yeah, this is the one. Click on install. And it should be installed in your Visual Studio code. Now let's close the Visual Studio code. Open it up again. This step is very important. Don't forget it. Now you can see our file is right here. And we get this awesome looking run button at the top. And if I click it, you can see we get hello world as the output. And if I try to change the message to something like subscribe to my channel on the code, you can see now C++ is telling you in the output, subscribe to my channel. So you can't ignore that message. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, peace out.